I'm here in a great Triple D town, Philadelphia, in Southwest Center City, to check out a joint that for 60 years was just a shot and beer place. Now, it's three stories of upscale bar food. This is Sidecar. And that's also a sidecar. It's an incredibly original menu. And everything that they come up with is a twist on something that I know. But don't be expecting your mama's burger. Pinky burger, up. Or your granny's clam chowder. They actually have potato gnocchis in there, and it's so heavenly good. Oh, to die for. <laughs> clam chowder gnocchi. Yep, it's our little spin on a clam chowder. Let's roll. Hot potatoes. Hot potatoes. We're going to cut these in half. You got to do it right away, otherwise potatoes get real gummy, and then it makes like a really poor like product. I take it we're going to just kind of rice them through this. Take it right here, pop them right out. Now with this spoon, we push them right through. I like the method, man. Yeah, it works out pretty good. Then at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to season it with uh, freshly ground black pepper, some salt, butter, some extra virgin olive oil. There we go. I'm going to crack two eggs in here. Going pretty rustic on this one. What do we do? A little chive. This is awesome. And we're going to mix all this up together. OK. All with a bench knife. That's it. Everything's all mixed together and happy now. OK. Then we add in our flour. We're just going to cover the top of it here. We don't mix it all together because we create too much gluten. So we're going to cut this baby in half. And we're just going to keep folding over top, pressing it and pressing it. Kind of almost in the biscuit theory. Exactly. I don't think I've ever done the cut stack. This has got to be some nice and light gnocchi, huh? Yeah, pretty much just melts in your mouth. I like this method. So after we get it all mixed together, we're going to let it sit for about a half hour. We have a chance to rest, so we pick this up, just dust this a little bit of flour, cut a little edge off like that. OK. We roll it out nice and light. Maybe gentle with it. Then we just kind of come to the edge here and cut down. Yeah. Sprinkle some bench flour over top of it. Then it'll dry out, scoop them up. Just toss it up. Beautiful. All right, so now we're going to go and make the clam stock. We're going to take our clams, little neck clams, by the way. We're going to take our onions, add them in. Carrots, celery. So the mirepoix. A little bit of garlic, fresh thyme, fresh parsley, bay leaf, whole black peppercorns. We just cover this with water. This will also make the broth. Yep. Cover this with foil. Fire it up, let them go 10 minutes. You'll strain it. These are the cool clams that we're going to pick for our clam chowder. We're going to assemble the whole uh, clam chowder right here. So we got applewood smoked bacon here. We're going to get it nice and crisp. Add in our shallot, garlic, get a light toast on this. Add in our clams, clam stock. We're going to drop our gnocchi. These uh, gnocchi are rising, so we're going to add these to our pan. The starches from these uh, the gnocchi is going to kind of help thicken the, th yep. thick the sauce. Now a little cream. Mount it with we a little butter. We got a little butter. Season it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. Tighten it up. Now we're ready to plate. Take some of our crispy shallots here. <sighs> Shove them in my face. <laughs> and we finish it with a little celery leaf salad. Very nice. Yolky, delicate depth and flavor, and get a little bit of the clam and the creaminess. But it's not the creaminess in the sauce, it's the creaminess in the gnocchi itself. Mm, and then the salad on it. The salad on the top is what makes it. Wow. This is literally one of the best gnocchi dishes I've ever had. Oh, awesome, man. Amazing. <laughs> clam chowder up. <laughs>